Oh, oh. Oh, Rash, it might be a rotator cuff. How do I know if that's what it is? <laughs> that's a good question. Let's find out. Dr. Craig here from the Prehab Guys. I have a rash here. We're going to be talking everything that you need to know about rotator cuffs. So, a rash, young strapping male in his late 20s. He's coming to me and telling me that his shoulder hurts. If we're talking about rotator cuffs, we have to get an idea of what is the typical pattern with rotator cuff issues with rotator cuff issues, say that 10 times in a row. So with Rosh being in his late 20s, I'm thinking he likely did too much too soon. What would that be defined as if you saw a doctor or you got an image? Maybe that's rotator cuff tendonitis. Too much too soon, overworked the tendon, maybe it's a little bit inflamed, he'll do very well with rehab. Now, let's say that I meet a Rosh in 20 years, he's in his mid to late 40s, and he's been dealing with this for a while, there's no insidious issue with it. He wasn't just doing deltoid raises and hurt it. This has been going on for months on end. Now I'm thinking maybe this is tendinosis or maybe on an MRI report, you got degenerative changes in the tendon. So this is just wear and tear. There, there's changes to the tendon. It's been broken down. There's some disorganized and crappy tissue quality with the connective tissue and the collagen. And, but now let's say that I met Arash 40 years later and he is now in his mid late sixties. He was lifting an object and then he heard a snap and now he can't move his arm as much. I'm thinking maybe more like a rotator cuff tear just because of the age and the scenario. So those are all things to keep into account. If you are in your early twenties, you're more than likely you didn't have a rotator cuff tear if you're just doing deltoid raises. So now let's get into it. How do you know what's going on? How do we roll in the rotator cuff? or is there something else going on? That's what we're gonna jump into. So Arash, let's have you stand up. I'm just gonna look at range of motion to start. So Arash is gonna mirror me. Arash, what I want you to do is just rotate your arms in and out. We're looking at shoulder external rotation here. He has full range of motion. Say that Arash went, only got to here, and then only got to there, I'm like, uh-oh, that's not good. That could be a tear. So then what I would do is Arash, I'm gonna take your arm all the way out here. Can you hold it there? Perfect. Say that I did this, I took it out there and the arm just came back in, thinking it could be a big tear. But again, Arash's age and the scenario, we're not thinking that. So we're gonna look at external rotation. Now let's just look at shoulder flexion. So now with shoulder flexion, I'm looking at his range of motion as well as the quality of the motion. So Arash, do you have any pain with this while you do it? No. No. Okay, well maybe what if he did? He said that he had pain just within this arc of motion, we call it. Sometimes if you ticked off your rotator cuff, it may hurt once he gets to about here or maybe up to here, somewhere within this window, but then it feels better. Definitely thinking maybe his rotator cuff is involved. Or what if he had pain all the way at the top? Well, it could be the rotator cuff, but it also could be subacromial impingement symptoms symptoms. Maybe something's getting pinched or something is irritated in this space called the subacromial space. Last but not least, let's do abduction. Same thing. All the same rules apply for what we're looking for reflection. Is there a painful range? Is there pain at the end range? This is all just giving me a little bit of information. So for Rosh, maybe it hurt up at the top. Maybe it hurt within some sort of range. We're thinking rotator cuff or maybe impingement stuff. So now let's go into strength testing. Not necessarily getting a really good gauge of how strong a Rosh is, but I'm looking for, is there any weakness or is there any symptoms? So now Rosh, hold real strong here. This is good to do with a friend, but if you don't have a friend, you could always do this with a wall or with a rig. So Rosh, hold nice and strong. Don't let me move you. What I'm trying to do is, let me move you. I'm trying to push Arash's arms in. Hold nice and strong, don't let me move you. We're testing his shoulder external rotators. So the rotator cuff is going to be your infraspinatus, teres minor, supraspinatus, and then subscapularis. The external rotators are gonna be your infraspinatus and teres minor. Also supraspinatus may help with that a little bit as well. That's what we're testing with this one. Now we're just gonna do the opposite motion. Don't let me move you. So now we're looking at internal rotation. Any issue with either of those? Good. Cool. Now we're gonna do a little bit of this chicken wing here. Hold nice and strong. Don't let me move you. I'm trying to push them down. 
Say that this was bothering him, we could mess around and do a little bit of different angles. We could do here, we could do up here. Yes, we're hitting the deltoid with this, but also we're hitting some of that supraspinatus as well. So that's just giving me more info. A test that is a little bit more specific to the supraspinatus is going to be our open can test. So we're thinking 30 degrees away from the braid ahead, 30 degrees out, thumbs up, arms externally rotated, hold nice and strong, don't let me move you. I'm going to lower my body weight into it. Rosh, any issue with that? Good. That's a little bit more specific to the supraspinatus. Now, last but not least, let's get your arms set up here. Hold nice and strong. Don't let me move you. Hold, hold, hold. Good. And then can you get your arm here? Hold nice and strong. Don't let me move you. With this test, what we're looking at is Terry's minor and infraspinatus again. It's just a different angle, especially if you're a weightlifter, you're doing shoulder press, you have issues with that. This is another good one to look at. Can he even get here? You know, if I brought his arm back, but it flopped forward, or even if I lifted his arm, can he hold it there? Those are signs. Those are tests for like big tears. If I brought it here and it just dropped, I'd be like, hmm, uh-oh, yeah. not so good. Okay, so those are the big tests that you can do. Last but not least, maybe if you see a physical therapist, they may do tests like this. They may have the thumb down, pushing up like this. This is looking at impingement stuff. So are we actually able to recreate symptoms due to maybe something in that subacromial space? Or is there internal impingement? Are things getting pinched inside the shoulder joint? I would say keep that to a professional to get those things checked out. Just because they're not the greatest test standalone, like I spoke about earlier, and then if you're just trying to do a party trick with friends, we're not gonna recommend this stuff. Okay, now, how do we really roll in the tendon? So we just did all the strength testing, right? Arash, what I'm going to, to assume, if it's truly a rotator cuff thing, if it's the tendon, he's gonna be strong, but maybe it's a little bit painful. Arash, guess what? Mm -hmm. This hurts, mm -hmm. right? Hurts. It hurts. Yeah, that hurts, it hurts. But he's still strong. It's not weaker side to side. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. Arash, we're just going to do an isometric. An isometric exercise is the tendon isn't lengthening or it's not getting any shorter, mm -hmm. but all the muscles are working. Mm -hmm. And if you hold it long enough and if we do enough rounds of it, it gives you this analgesic effect. Mm -hmm. We don't really understand why that happens, but it's going to make your shoulder feel better if it's truly a tendon issue. So thank you so much for getting into the perfect position <laughs> and knowing how to do this. But as you can see, Arash is just holding this position. He's doing isometric external rotation. He's not letting me pull this in. Stay where you are, but he's not letting this motion happen. Bring the camera around this way. I'm gonna show you something that's really important. So something that you need to be mindful of, Arash, as you do this, sit up nice and tall. This shoulder blade needs to be pulled back. If he's doing this, but his shoulder blade is winging up or his shoulder blade's moving, the rotator cuff is just getting pulled from a different position. He's anchoring there, but it's getting stretched this way. So you gotta have a stable shoulder blade when you do this stuff. So now Arash would do five rounds of this for 45 second holds. And then time elapsed, it's 10 minutes later. Arash felt a really good burn all back here. That's also another sign to know if you're doing it right or not. Come back to this, hold nice and strong. Don't let me move you. Hold, hold, hold. How does it feel? Good. It feels better, right? Yeah, better. Awesome. If that's the case, I'm thinking his tendon is likely involved. So now what do you do? Well, guess what? He just showed you the exercises that you're gonna do. You're gonna do isometrics to start. Say that going in bothered him. You're just gonna do it going in. Say that this hurt. What you can do is Arash, or even let's say that the open can hurt. That's not unfamiliar to be bothersome. Let's just do an isometric open can. So just go up out to the side and then hold it there. Again, nice and strong, stack through his shoulder blade, or he can even do an isometric lateral raise. So the takeaway is if you're still strong, but it hurts testing some of that stuff, do those isometrics. And then if it feels better, you know exactly what your homework is gonna be. Try and do three to five rounds of 45 second isometric holds. Do that almost daily. And then your shoulder should be feeling better. 
Right? Feels feeling, better? Feeling better already. Awesome. All right, please like this video, comment, let us know what you want to see more of, let us know what you want to see less of, and then we'll be happy to uh, fill in those needs. All right, we're out.